Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. It is Nikki here. So today I have another exciting video. It is a Primark haul. Now I'm not even going to lie to you guys. It's been a hot minute since I've been to Primark and you guys were asking me for a haul. So I thought mm, I'd go into Primark and see what I could find. And I've done a little bit of damage. I'm not even going to lie. I've been to Primark not only once guys with this big bag. But I decided to go back the other day because I felt like mm, I needed a little bit more and I'd seen some things that I wanted to go back and get. And I went back and got another smaller bag. So without further ado, before I start rambling because this is always going to be a long video, I'll jump straight in to the video. Right, so the first item I'm actually going to talk about is this one right here because I've got it on. I don't know about you guys, but when I buy new stuff, I can't have it sitting out in like the bags. I need to wear it straight away. Within that week, I've worn all the items. I don't know what it is. I just feel like they need to be loved and worn. So I thought I would wear this. And now this is actually from the men's section. It says endless and it's in this kind of, it's not bright yellow at all. It's more of a mustard tone against the black. It's just a black tee. I got it in a size large from the men's section and it comes up pretty long. So if I wanted to, I could wear it as a dress. Don't quite know how I'm gonna style this up yet. It would probably look cute as a choker because it's quite big. The neck's quite big on me, but I prefer it if it was like that. I think it's cute. I also do like to just roll up the sleeves a little bit because I think it looks quite cool. And I just love the color of it. I think it was just the mustard up against the black like a slogan tee. I thought that was really cute about it. And yeah, I'll probably just wear it as a dress with a denim jacket and some ankle boots or some Converse. I think it'd be quite cute like that. Just a plain black tee with some slogan print. Now I'm not gonna lie, my room right now looks like a jumble sale. I'm just gonna grab these. The next thing that I've just happened to grab is this Get Lippy Matte Collection by Primark. Oh, it's got a little bit of fluff on it. It's the matte liquid lipstick and lip liner and this is in the shade Flutter. These are three pound and boy is this beautiful. It's a kind of nude tone. Again, you guys know that I swatched the one that someone had already opened in, in the testers. Well, it wasn't even a tester. I think it was just normal packaging and someone had opened it and I swatched it. It is a beautiful color. If you guys don't follow me on Snapchat, you should. I'll leave the link down below and I swatched this on Snapchat and you guys were asking me. I really, really rate the MAC, the MAC? Oh my gosh. The Primark lip, liquid lipsticks. I really rate them. I think they're beautiful. They're a really nice formula. And they last on the lips and for three pounds. Guys, we can't complain. It does come with a lip liner as well, which is absolutely amazing. Now, when I did my second trip to Primark, I found this one. This is one that I have heard about time and time again. It's called Cookie Dough. And it appears a little bit more brown in packaging, but when I swatched it on my hand, it come up a lot more peach on me, similar to what I've got on my lips at the moment. I absolutely love this shade. It's called Cookie Dough. Again, at three pound. Comes with a lip liner and... I don't even know. Oh my gosh, do you know what I've just seen? This is really bad. It says test out on the back of my pack. I hope someone's just stuck that on because I don't, no one's opened it, but it does say tester on the back of my pack. I haven't really, I haven't seen that. Maybe this was a tester, but it's not been opened. It's definitely not been opened. But yeah, so this is the peachy one. If you can get down to your local Primark stores, I think they're stocking them now. I love them. I, you guys know that I've got the one that's called Chocolate Brownie. Love, love, love that one. So I can't wait to try these out with the lip liners. Now looking at my pile, I obviously dabbled a lot in the men's section. I didn't realize that I did so much. The next thing that I got is again from the men's section and it is just this t-shirt. I love it. I wish they had it in the female section. It doesn't even matter because I've got it now. And it's just a long line t-shirt and it's got this sort of ripped detailing on it, which is really cute. I actually went ahead and I pulled on the holes a little bit more just to make the rips a little bit bigger. And it says that it's a one of a kind tee. Every shirt is unique. So I assume that's with the holes in it. It's just a plain black one. Now what I really, really like about the men's t-shirts is that the bottom is longer than the front, just a tad bit. So if you are a girl that is a little bit taller, it's gonna cover your ass 
that much nicer it's just got a nicer shape to it i like it when it's longer at the back and a little bit shorter at the front as opposed to just straight all the way across again just an average plain black tee but it's got ripped detailing i actually picked it up in the white you guys know that i love black and i wear a lot of black and i don't actually wear a lot of white i don't know i feel like white makes me look that much bigger but it is exactly the same it's exactly the same tee and it's got holes in the same places but it's in white again the back is longer than the front they do these tees in so many different colors so they do them in a pastel blue they do them in a peachy color i didn't see like a khaki or dusty kind of green color but i would have got that they do it in a gray i might go back to the gray but i just thought white and black were your kind of basic colors and i'd be able to pair that with a lot of things and again i am going to play around with the rips and maybe put more in them and pull these shoulder holes quite a bit so it's i want to get it so it looks more like a cold shoulder which you can easily do by just putting your finger in and just tugging at it but because they were five pound guys i might get them in all colors and i got these in a size large yeah i got these in a size large didn't really want to go extra extra large because i don't want them to be extra long i am petite i am a size not a size i am five foot and no inches so i didn't want them to be super long at my ankles but this is really cute this just cuts me underneath my just to the top of my thigh area which is really nice so the next item is not a piece of clothing it's actually a cushion i saw it on jordan lipscomb's primark haul and she showed it with these two fluffy pillows i'm going to show you and i was like i need that i need that combination i need it all i just need it on my bed and it's this one is beautiful it's just a metallic print cushion it's just a little baby sized one and i've taken the tags off because it's already been sitting on my bed this one was three pound or four pound something around that price range just a baby one and it looks beautiful up against these cushions that i've got here she got these as well these are a beaut you know i love blush you guys know that i love blush anything blush goes into my basket and these are so beautiful i know for ages and ages and ages i wanted to get these fiery cushions and i looked in places like tk maxx but they were like 35 quid and I'm sorry, I'm not paying that much for a cushion that's just going to sit there and look pretty. They're beautiful, don't get me wrong, they're so soft to the touch. That up against that, bam, on the bed with the duvet covers that I'm about to show you, unreal. However, these ones are £7. So, I went ahead and I got two, didn't I? Yep, I did. I got two that will sit side by side with a metallic one and i've got some gray cushions to go with it i just think that gray and blush and metallic i feel like it's mixing up all the textures you know oh i feel like it's mixing up all the textures and they'll look so pretty on my bed now i'm so sorry i could not wait so i'm gonna show you this which is a little bit pathetic it's the double duvet cover set guys primark do a marble print double duvet cover I can't even, and you know what the worst thing about it, it's not even the worst thing, the best thing about it is, it's £10. Now if you go to Primark and you have a look at their duvet cover se section, I don't know if it's just me, but I think it's quite expensive. It's probably not, but I think it is, like I'm spending 20 quid for a double duvet. This is marble print and mermaid scaled on the other side, and it's £10 for a double. Now I feel like the majority of us probably have a double, not a king, maybe not a single. If you have a single, even better, because I believe it's £7. But this duvet cover with them cushions looks absolutely banging. If I must say so myself. If you are someone that likes to take photos, like product shots and stuff like that, then you can even put your products on this duvet cover. And yes, you have your marble print background. The photo looks bomb. I'm just telling you. I'm just saying. You need to go to Primark and get this marble print duvet cover. Because I swear they sell it in Urban Outfitters and it's like £45. You're getting ripped off if you go to Urban Outfitters, I'm just saying. So the next piece of clothing, you guys know I've said it before that when I like an item of clothing, I'll go and buy it in every single colour. That applies to jackets as well and you know that. You guys know that I've got all the waterfall duster jackets in almost every colour. This, this, oh my gosh. This is a white denim jacket. Now, I've got the denim jacket that Primark do... I, don't, I did show you guys with the rips at the back. Well, guess what? They do it in bleach white. At first, I saw it and I thought, mm, 
Is it a little bit tacky? Snapchat it and everyone was like, you need to get it, you need to get it. It's exactly the same style. I love it. It's in a size 12. It's got the frayed detailing on the back. It is, yeah, so it's got a little bit of fraying at the front and on the shoulders. I've got a hanger through it and on the shoulders. And this retails at, how much does it retail at? £20. I just want them to do it in all different colours. I love this jacket because I think it's really slouchy. So you can put it over dresses, but you can also put it with jeans, you can put it with leggings. It's long, so it covers your bum, which I like. I don't like them, I'm not about that cropped denim lifestyle. I just feel like it doesn't, it doesn't cut me. I say that, but I've got one to show you, which I'm, I'm being hypocritical now. But I'm not really about that sort of denim cropped lifestyle. The one that I've got to show you is a little bit different. But this one's banging, it's just plain white and I think it's going to look beautiful with a lot of things. I'm just excited to add it to my collection because I love the other one and I wear the other one to death. If you follow me again on Snapchat, you've probably seen that a trillion times. Because it goes with everything and it is like an acid wash blue. Okay, so the next item are a pair of cycle shorts. I got these because again I watched Jordan Lipscomb's YouTube YouTube video on her Primark haul and she was saying that she's going to wear these with the men's tees as dresses and I thought that's such a good idea. I don't know why I never picked them up. I, didn't, I don't think I quite knew how to style them. I always love like the nude ones. You know when you wear the nude cycle shorts and then just a nude crop top or a nude body? Loved that look. But I just picked these up in black and I think they're going to be great for the rest of the summer that we've got left to wear underneath them tees just to cover your hoo-ha area because we don't want the wind blowing up and we don't want to show everyone our business. So, I think these are going to come in so handy. I forgot to mention that these were £2. £2, guys. It's less than a meal deal at Tesco. It's less than your meal deal at Tesco. Okay, so the next piece I'm going to show you guys is a pair of sunglasses. Don't actually know. Well, I know why I picked them up. I'm really not a sunglasses person. If you know me, don't ever really wear sunglasses. I don't know why. I think it's because I always do my eyes and not my lips, so I don't want to cover my eyes. That's my theory behind it anyway. These are beautiful though. It's rose gold detailing. Really, not weird shape, but a really nice shape, I feel. And they're blush and see-through. So you can see your eyes through them as per usual. They come with like a sunglass case sort of thing, like a cotton case. And these are £3. I don't know what it was about these. I just thought they were really badass. Like... I don't think I suit sunglasses either, not gonna lie, I don't think I suit them. But these, I feel like these are a look. Mm. Okay, so next I'm gonna be talking about this illuminating mineral water mist. It's three pound from Primark. Don't actually know what it is, I just grabbed it. You know when you go to pay and they put all these things out to tease you a little bit? Well, I'm a sucker for that. And it says that it's antioxidant, vitamin C and grapefruit extract brightens and hydrates the skin and you guys know that I love anything that's going to hydrate my skin so I assume you're just oh you're supposed to just missed it I'm hoping that this isn't going to ruin my makeup I'm really hoping it's not going to ruin my makeup and I hope you can put it on top of makeup it smells quite nice not going to lie it's got quite a lot of mist that comes out the reason why I got this is not only because it was at the till and it's a an illuminating mineral water mist. But it's because you guys know that I love face and body and I drench myself in it. And I go through bottles of that. I'm gonna cough. <coughs> I go through bottles of that and it's expensive. And this is three pound. It says two pound per hundred mil. So, I mean, I feel like I look a little bit illuminated and I think I can use this just to freshen up my makeup and for touch ups as well. But don't breathe it in because it really gets to your throat. But that's the illuminating mineral water mist. Now we're nearly there, I promise you guys. Next, I bought this black jacket. If you've been in Primark recently, you probably would have seen it. I ummed and awed this twice. So I ummed and awed it last month and then I ummed and awed it again when I first went into Primark. And then the third time I bought it because I was like, if I'm umming and awing it that much, probably want it. It is this off black, more of a greyish tone denim jacket. It is a crop. So that's why I was umming and ahhing it because you guys know that I don't really like a crop but I really like the design of this. Yes, it is more boxy and I try and stay away from things that are more boxy because I feel like my shoulders are quite broad and I don't want to look really, really square. But I just loved it. It is just kind of like a plain, big pocketed denim jacket more on the grey tone and it's got this frayed 
detailing on the bottom which I really like I just think the details on this jacket are quite nice it's got black hardware yeah just black hardware with two big pockets and this one I got in a size 10 because I wanted it not too big I felt like if I went to a size 12 or 14 then it'd make me look really really boxy and I feel like this looks better if it's a little bit more fitted if you have a smaller waist and like a nice curve to you then I think this would be beautiful because it'd probably cut you at your waist and at your slimmest. And this was, how much was this bad boy? I think it was £20. £12. I'm chuffed. It was £12 for this. That's probably why I got it. Um, yeah, and that's it. I'll probably wear it with my sleeves rolled up. And I'm thinking with some like Adidas leggings, some Converse, maybe a white tee or a black vest top. That sort of jam, you know, like chill beat. That's what I'm thinking for this one. Then I was obviously more in the men's section than I was in the girls section because I've got another men's tee. This one is this beautiful marble print, but it's reverse. Is it marble print? I believe it is marble print, but it's reverse. It's just a plain one. This one hasn't got any holes in it, but it's black and white and gray. I just loved the color of it. I love the print and the color. And again, with the men's tees, oh, whack myself in the face. It is longer, you can see it, you can really see it here, but it's longer at the bottom than the front, which I really like and I appreciate that because I'm going to be wearing this bad boy as a dress. And again, I just get mine in large and I am five foot, like I said, and these come up beautiful. I think this would look really nice with that acid wash, greyish denim jacket, the cropped one. I think that would look cute with that and some converse and maybe like a headband or a bandana i don't even know why i'm saying bandana but you know that sort of vibe and a choker that sort of vibe i think it'd be cool now even though i got this i um a couple of weeks ago i want to show you guys i'm not sure whether i've put it in a primark haul but i got these bad boys i don't think i have i love them they are velvet they're in this mauvey purpley color and they're just zipped up I love them because I love the heel on them. If you know me, I can't walk in heels to save my life. I literally just cannot walk in heels. These were £18 or £15. Absolutely love them. Yes, the colour is a little bit off because it's probably not going to go with everything. But I feel like they're still pastel enough and neutral enough to go with like black or cream or white or khaki, which is what I usually wear. I wouldn't pair it with blush. No, I wouldn't pair it with blush. But I feel like they go with a lot of neutrals, like grey as well. And I wear all neutrals anyway. I don't wear much colour. I love them so much. I think, feel like they look really expensive because they're that velvet feel. But I love them so much that I also got them in another pair. I wish that they would do them in a velvet black, but they don't. However, they do do them in a suede black. So they're really pretty because they are just peep toe. And yes, I have worn these a trillion times. These are my go-to now. Like when I go out, these are the ones that I pick up just because their heel is not that large at all, which I like about them. And they're peep toe, really cute, go with absolutely everything. And I like where they cut me on the ankle. I feel like it's really flattering. And I've got quite small ankles. Like I've got very skinny ankles, but these ones hug them quite nice. So the next item is either hit or miss. I don't know if you guys are going to love it or if you're going to hate it. Let me know down below. I'm not even too sure myself. But it is this red blazer. I do not have the tag on it. But I believe it was £18 or something like that. Something like £15 or £18. You know what they're blazers and dust jackets retail at. And it's coming off a lot more orange on camera. But it is like a cherry red. It's like Ruby Woo. If you know Ruby Woo Red Lipstick by MAC, it is that colour. And it is just a long line blazer. Now, I don't even know why I got this. I got this because I am feeling that Rihanna vibe with the burgundy red lip and the red and the slip back hair. I'm feeling that vibe with some hoops. You know what I mean? Do you feel me? That sort of vibe. I got it in a size 12. It is beautiful, don't get me wrong. I've got nowhere, absolutely nowhere to wear it to. But I just thought it'd be really nice to like wear in a tutorial or wear in an e like out in the evening for drinks i think it looks really sleek i'm not really a sleek kind of girl like i'm not i don't know why i'm more edgy and more boyish i'm just not very like pretty however this is a banger i do really like it i just think with a nice either like a crop top or something like that underneath with some high-waisted jeans and some like them black platform heels banging i think that'll look really nice 
I don't think I told you guys. This top, by the way, was £7. I've obviously still got the tab on it. She couldn't even be bothered to take it off. Okay, guys, so that concludes my Primark haul. As per usual, I hope you guys really enjoyed it. I got a couple of bits that I am really happy with. Primark is my jam. You know that I love Primark. I'm thinking, I was thinking the other day whilst walking through that I should do a uh, how to shop in Primark. Because a lot of people always ask me, they're like, how did you get them bits? Like, where did you find them? I feel like you really need to look. You need to be patient, you need to rummage. It's one of them ones, you know, it's like a jumble sale and you have to really want to look to find bargains. And there always is a bargain in Primark, whether it be with makeup, whether it be with homeware, toiletries, clothing, shoes, anything. I do believe that they always have something that is really good. Their jewellery is also banging. So let me know if you want to see that down below. And as per usual, I love you guys so very much. Leave me all your comments down below and let me know what your favourite item of clothing or just your favourite piece was out of this haul. Let me know if you've seen something that I haven't seen and where you got it from because I might need it. So just let me know that down below and I do read all of your comments. I love you guys so very much and I'll see you in my next video. Mwah.